Yeah. We, um, Arthur and I, uh, hang on, let's just, let's start. What, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Terraria with me, Scruffy Joe, and with... Arthur. Now, the funny thing is now, um, we were just sitting, having a brief conversation, Arthur's finished his schoolwork for the day, and I've finished my work for the day, and we thought, let's record a quick episode, and we had a discussion about what we would record, and I said, what's the next boss that we need to do? Because we failed at the Eye of Cthulhu, and then we did King Slime, and Arthur said, well, we need to do the, the Eye of Cthulhu. So I said, well, have, have we got the stuff to make an Eye of Cthulhu turn up? And he said, yes, we've got loads. We need what we need? We needed suspicious looking eyes. Suspicious looking eyes. But then here we are, and one's just doing its thing anyway. So without actually summoning a suspicious looking eye, okay, it's going to spawn we're, we're, we're going to just fight an eye of Cthulhu. So we're going to wait for, our, um, for it to spawn. It's a giant big eye with stuff coming out the back of it. And we know roughly what's going to happen. It's I got two buff potions, and he's here. He is. Buff up. No. Ow. I did not mean to do that. Go down. Yeah, good idea. See, this is what you keep forgetting to do. And also, yeah, remember that we can fly now, effectively. Um, well, I try and try not to go up into the sky too high because that's where the eye can't see anything, and therefore it makes commentary very difficult. <coughs> Go oh, down, 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 down. I think we need to kill these small Yeah, I know, that's why I told you to go down. Um, so here's the plan. We've we've got groovy weapons. And we've got this gun passes straight through everything. So if you find things in a line, you can probably shoot multiple ones. Go down. You've got to remember to go down. Use the whole arena. Um, so this, as you remember from the time a couple of episodes ago, once you get it past the first initial stage, the eye opens into a horrible, terrifying And mouth. then there's a third stage which Remember hurts. to go down, Arthur. Go down. And go down again. There you go, now it's going into its second stage now. And it bursts out all of its little children people. So we're down to... Ooh, that's a lot. I need to kill the small guys. You need to go down. That doesn't eat you. Uh, we've got 253 health. We have health potions. Oh, yeah, we love this arena. I'm glad we. There oh, he goes. No. Here he's gone into raw, raw, raw mode. Ba, 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 yeah, do ba, that. That's ba, a great ba. idea. Keep doing that. He's Go down. Go down it. again. Down, down. Got to remember to fall through the platforms and. If he's right up the way here, we need to be... Yeah, going over is the wrong call, I reckon. That was two criticals in a row. I seem to remember Arthur was saying that he, this gun has a 20% critical chance, which means effectively one in five shots should do double damage. Whoa, there he goes. Pew, pew. That's very quiet. Yeah, it is. Maybe they... I think that's because we've left the headphones plugged in, so I'm going to quickly do that. shouldn't make any difference to you guys, but it will make a difference to what we can hear. There we go. This is it. Keep it going. <gasps> we've got 2-2-2 two, two, two health. You're fine buff on the health. health. I just did more buff potions. Run, run. Gets to a point. Where's it gone? Oh, it went through the floor. Oh, we're in the sky. Nope, nope. <laughs> Fight me. Come out here. Shoot. Cow. Cow. 19. 19. 20. He doesn't stop. Okay, just keep manoeuvring. What? Oh. oh! Well, we got close and we have two more spawners. We didn't use one that time. No. Nope. Because he just spawned randomly, which. So we've got two This is very lucky. Two more tries. And what we've just done off camera is we have um, slightly increased the height of, of our fighting two arena. Layers. We've got two layers further up. Sure, but I summoned it For now, what we're actually doing is summoning the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, and we're going to try and kill that, which is here. So let's see how that goes. This is all about fighting a boss. Now we did 
try this once before, but it was kind of a mistake. We didn't mean to. Yeah, it just spawned um, naturally. Just spawned naturally. And that did cause us a bit of an issue. But now we're trying it. Did you remember to use your potions? Yeah, I've got all my potions. Good lad. Go down. Man down. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that killed loads of stuff. No, no. Oh. Gotta heal not now. Grandma. Yeah, come on. No, you see, it went up. You I'm, shouldn't have gone up. I'm not... Um, you gotta go the opposite direction of it, otherwise you end up running straight into it again. Oh, look at that lovely rebound! Did you see that, everyone? Did you see yeah. that? These little eye dudes, I actually hate. I know, they are a pain, aren't they? You're at 2.53, so you're fine with the old, uh... There, there you go. go. Got rid of them. Doink. Hit that twice on the way back. That's good news. Yeah, oh, fire. He's shoot, got shoot, a, shoot, shoot. an actual eye feeling. Okay, that's all great news. That did a lot of damage. Now, now get out of the way. Uh, you're at 280 still. 280 health. That's a good bit of running around. Nice. Nice. Underneath. Up, up, He's going to start going. <laughs> yeah, go up. Whee! Yeah, stitch that Eye of Cthulhu, or Mouth of Eye of Cthulhu, whichever you want to be called. Come at me. Whee! Yeah. Oh. Quite, the good thing is, I've noticed that when you're running along with the speed boots active, and it's going whoosh, 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 it will always miss you as long as you keep running in the same direction. Haha! -ha. Ow! Except maybe that time. Um, way Nice. No. Yeah, you see, now it's going to, in a minute, it's going to start going really hectically fast all the time. And that's going to be an, an issue. And that's where it's killed us before, because we have tried this a couple of times before. Ow, ow, ow. Keep running. Yeah. Die, die, die. Die. Nope. Yeah, that's great. That's really good shooting. Plenty of mana. Uh, 235 health at the moment. One slight hit. It's gone all really weird looking. It means it's near to death. Keep plugging away. I think we might have this. I think it's only got... It can't have that much health left. No. Keep Don't running, screw keep it running, up. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. The Eye of Cthulhu has been defeated! Now, do we get any amazing loots for yes, doing that? Yes, we do. Are they up top or are you yet to pick I've, them up? I've picked them up. Are they in a bag? Yes. Every boss has a treasure bag. Nice. My God. Let's take a moment because that's, you know, mm. that was good effort. Right, let's open this bag. What's in it? I want to put that there so we don't spawn another one. Don't accidentally spawn another one. Why don't you go and put that back in the chest so we don't actually... You know. What if I actually... <laughs> yeah, but at least we know how to do that. So there's basically, you need a fighting arena so you can manoeuvre up and down and left and... So that's um, what I would say. And I would also recommend not doing it until you've got the speed boots that we've got going on because that really does make a, a big difference. And also that thorn cacrum, which is the spinny ball, that worked really well because you could get things on the way on the return journey. But equally, the laser gun that we got, how did we get that? We got me. It, we went, got all the meteor, and then crafted the space gun. We crafted a space gun with meteor. meteor. Yeah, that's right. And that is something that, that definitely works very well to do that. But also, wouldn't be a lot of point because that's a mana-based weapon. Unless you had all of those blue stars that you can see up there in the top. Up. Yeah, up there. Up, up. There's a uh, blue stars. If you didn't have all of that mana. Perhaps you would you, you'd need a different weapon to do that. But yeah, we're really happy. So what did we get? We uh, we are going to our trusty demolitionist roommate. Guess what? I killed the Eye of Cthulhu. What have we got? Crimtain ore, crimson seeds, and a hasty shield of Cthulhu. Hasty shield of Cthulhu? Wait, wait. Let me just... Out. Ooh. Ugh. That looks grim. Oh. Gives you an extra dash. Gives you a little dash. It took me a while to figure that one out in my other world. 
And you can even do it in the air. <laughs> so that's uh, we've just swapped that out for the because um, it's it's we've look. we've swapped that out for the stuff which makes um, slimes mm, ignore us. Yeah, but that's fine. Slimes are like the least time you can you can swip and swap back things like that and it, it's fairly it's fairly quick to do Easy. so so let's um, so that's what we've done uh i have a tactic for you people out there hang on are we doing right we're doing fishing we're doing fishing um so yeah so we, we went we saw the fisherman we found out how to make a fishing rod we made a fishing rod. We blew up a big pond. Make a bigger pond. No, that's that's not the end of it. No, that's not the end of it. And we also caught a few bugs uh, and wibbly things. And Arthur's made some enchanted night crawlers. So I've Is got no idea bucket? what's going on now. I've got a bucket. Wait a minute. You put a bucket on your head? Please don't. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. Anyway. So we need one bucket of water coming up. I know a little trick. Arthur's that... showing us a trick. Very nice trick. I will destroy this after the pond is filled. No oh. idea what's going on here. Bap. Ooh. Put that there. The slime has to die. Why? Because I want it to. Okay, so it wasn't relevant to what we were doing. No, so the bucket of water. So if you place it there, you get an infinite water source. And you should keep on doing this until the lake is filled. That feels like an incredible cheat. But it's hey. not really cheating because it's not a major glitch. And that's gradually filling up the entire thing, is it? Is that going up? Yeah, it's going up. It just takes a while. Oh, we have the royal gel! Yeah, you forgot about that, haven't you? Yeah, I did forget. Put all that off. You just threw away explosives. I didn't need them. Next time we need explosives, I shall be... Uh... We have 30 more in a chest, so... Okay, that's alright. So how, how deep up. does it need to get? It needs to fill up to there. To the top of the top. It's gonna take a while, but hey, we're wasting time. Um, how do you uh, how do you actually fish? You make an enclosed space so nothing can get you in the night or day. Oh right. And then you put platforms underneath you so you can throw your fishing pole down. Okay. And then it gives you it when it goes boop boop, you hook it up. Wake it out. And then it gives you a, a fish or a crate, or and the crates give you some nice stuff. Okay. I think it's turning night time. I think it might be turning night time, and if it does turn night time, then we'll be it, lucky. It'll be time to go back and do our second round of or our first round. Well, we're pulling our first time. <laughs> About up to there, and that's that done. Put these slimes out of their miseries, they can't even move. Poor slimes. Yeah, slimes. Do that. And, yeah, it's definitely turning night time. I can see the sunset. Yeah, and that's the pond filled. Okay. We've made a pond. We're going to do some fishing another stage in the game. Um, this guy. This little element of fishing may or you, may not be involved. You can press the quest and mm -hmm. it gives you a, uh -huh. a quest. Sky Lakes. He wants Sky us to, Lake. He wants us to fish up there. But we can't get there. Okay, well, then, well let's, so, let's not do that quest. <laughs> we, can, we can still just... Oh, oh, worms are good for the heart. Yeah, so that there you go, that, good... that's mission accomplished. That is defeating the Eye of Cthulhu. And we will come back for more episodes with more boss fights and other exploration and stuff like that in the very near future. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching, Arthur. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>